Hey, it's Chris and Susan and it's our very last day here in the Dominican Republic out here in the Caribbean. We got up really early to come and shoot this special video for you because boy does it get hot here later in the day. We brought you to the top of the hotel so that you can see the views all around you. We've got a beautiful affinity pool here, we've got lovely pools beyond that and then the beach and the sailing. But the purpose of this video is to talk about something really, really important uh, that we we think is important for you to, to, to hear about and it's about commitment. So whilst we've been here at this mastermind, we've met some fantastic, fantastic people, about 250 people here, all of whom are Titanium Mastermind partners in Mo. Now Chris and I came here as Platinum Mastermind partners in Mo and we made a big decision while we were here because the timing was just perfect for us and where we wanted to go in our business and we became positioned as Diamond Partners. So what we want to share with you, not that you should become a Diamond Partner as you're watching this video, but about commitment and commitment to your business, commitment to yourself, your life, your goals and your dreams. Are you going to hold the microphone for me? No, that's no, very I'm nice. not. I'm going to pass the microphone to Chris because this is a conversational piece of video. Well, it'd be quite good actually if you can hold the microphone. Okay. As Susan said, we wanted to talk about commitment. One of the things that we found is that people never, they never balance when they first start. They never balance their commitment to their business with the outcome of their business. So, what do I mean by that? So. No, this is a generic example, it's nothing to do with MOBA or any other, any other particular business. But you know, if, you had, if you had a goal that you wanted to earn, let's say $10,000 a month, and you wanted to do that in three months, so your commitment level is here, or your outcome level rather, is here. So this is what you want. But you want to see if it works. So you say, well, I'm prepared to commit to $25. Well, of course, We've got $10,000 up here in three months and $25 commitment to making that happen down here. And of course, it's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. So you have to have, you have to balance your commitment in with your outcome out. So what do I mean by that? So if I'm only prepared to put $25 in here, okay, I have to, bring down my expectation of my outcome. I have to bring it down to a level that says, okay, $10,000 a month. To be honest, am I ever gonna get there? The answer is probably no, you'll give up before you even, before you get there. But, so therefore you've gotta say, right, okay, what is the commitment that I can make? And what is the outcome that I want? We're looking for realistic outcome. Okay, they have to balance. So. It may be that we have to increase increase the investment, increase the commitment to our business. And maybe at the same time we have to bring down the expected outcome. Now it might not be necessarily bringing down the financial level of expected outcome, but maybe just extending the time so that these things balance. Now what happens as you go through your business, as you go through your entrepreneurial journey, you get to points where you say, it just, it just feels right. You come along, you're coming along the road, and you get to a point and you say, right, okay, I now need to step up my game because I've achieved these little goals, these little steps on the way, and I've now got to get to a point where to get to this next one, I've got to take a bigger step. And if you're gonna take that bigger step, quite often that means investing some more money to take a bigger step now that might be that might be going to titanium or platinum mastermind levels in mode or it might be a question of investing more money in your own personal training it might be a question of taking some mentoring or something like that you know i just don't know what it's going to be but the thing is is as you go along your journey you've got to keep your outcome in line with your input and once you do that you start to find that your that your uh, your business will continually grow, just like ours has. Once we realised that the or the importance of getting that balance right. 
So I hope you found that really valuable. I know just actually talking it through and explaining to you on video, it certainly clarifies a lot for us. One of, one of Chris's and my favorite, favorite books is Three Feet From Gold. And Chris very often talks to our mentoring students and on webinars and, and various other places where we speak from stage about this particular book and the kinds of vehicles you need to take you on your journey to the next level. So if you've never read it, do go and get it. It's written by Sharon Lecter and Greg S. Reed, so that's Three Feet From Gold. It's one of those books that has actually clarified for us very, very clearly how important it is to be clear on your goals and to be clear on the vehicles that help you get to those goals. A lot of it is going to be your personal input, your personal mindset, uh, your personal dreams and goals, right as we said at the beginning. But finding the right vehicle is really, really important. Um, so many people start, just like we did, searching online, searching on Google, typing in, make money from the home, make money online, and it brings up well, many thousands, if not millions of results. And the commitment to uh, investigate those opportunities, we'll call them, is very, very low. But our expectations are very high. In fact, we all expect to get rich quick. And I can tell you um, that doesn't work. People who are looking to get rich quick very rarely do unless they're prepared to invest and make a commitment in themselves and their business and treat it as a business. So if you've been there and done that and worn the t-shirt like we have, don't be put off by it uh, because when you do find the right vehicle, the right platform, things will completely change for you. Um, as Chris said, from our experience, we're sharing with you, set your goals in expectation realistically. Yes, and right. make the adjustments that you need to make along your journey because it is a journey and you will finally get to where you want to be. Yeah, so the other thing, just being here at this mastermind, this is the second Mo mastermind we've attended, it's the people that you meet. With. And one, of the, one of our goals here was to meet as many different people as we could to find out what their backgrounds are or were and why they joined Mo. And we found, we, we, we were talking to uh, people in the States, in Canada, in Australia, from the UK, all around the world. And it was absolutely amazing that they all, they all had different backgrounds. I had, was speaking to a lady from, from New York who was, a, who was a cook. And she told me she was a cook for the, for the prison service. She'd been a cook all her life. She was in the military before that as a cook. And I spoke to her friend who was a who, who'd been in banking, and funnily enough, they lived on opposite sides of the state. But we spoke to an electrician who was doing um, who who uh, decided he was in his late sixties. He got to a point in his life where he just didn't want to be an electrician anymore. But the whole thing was all of these people had committed to mode to a, being a business to make them additional income and that's right we've got a nice young lady here coming down coming around sorting out the tables um, so just while she is well, she's finished now because she said hello and stalked us but she's speaking Spanish so we haven't got to what she's saying but there we are um, so the thing but so the thing being I've totally lost my train of thought yeah so that all of these people um, had made a commitment to themselves and a commitment to their business because they were all looking for additional income to help them in their retirement and that's that was their goal every single one of them okay were at an age i don't know 55 plus saying i haven't got enough money for my retirement so that is why they came into mode and Know, because they knew the level of out, level of their outcome, they knew what they wanted. Um, they'd all come in at a minimum of the titanium uh, level in, in Mo, you know, and so they were serious about achieving what they wanted. Because to come to titanium, it, it's currently about nine thousand dollars. 
come to this event. But the great thing is, is it also makes you fantastic commissions, which is why these people that we spoke to have all made it for me. So finally, you know, I think as I said, as you go along your journey, you're going to get to a point where you need to make a you, you need to make a decision and a commitment to go to another level. And just like Susan and I did, we knew we've always known we were going to go to Diamond Partners in Mo. It was just a question of when, and we'd been planning for some point in the future towards the back end of this year. Um, but you get to a point where something happens, and you're talking to people, and all of a sudden you realise you realise you're in the right place at the right time. And that's exactly why Susan and I decided to position a Diamond uh, over the last few days because all of a sudden we realised the time was right, we were with the right people, we were in the right place, and so we just had to make a decision. So we made the decision and, and we did it, um, and I'm absolutely over the moon that we've, that we've done it. So that's it, I think. Hopefully you've got some, some good value out of that, made you think, if nothing else, um, and uh, we look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye from me from Punta Cana here in the Caribbean in the Dominican Republic and bye from Chris. Yeah, we're going to see you back in the UK in less than 24 hours, but hey-ho. Bye for now.